Brooke. Collectively, we are Jay Davey. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, so the first question I wanted to ask you guys was what inspires you to create music? Your music. Life experience. Every day is something different. So, I mean, we just draw from pretty much, you know, everyday experiences, you know, whether it be, you know, I mean, it's all positive at the end of the day, but, you know, you have your ups and downs, but that really does inspire you to, to, to speak from some, some place on the inside. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah, life is enough. <laughs> <laughs> I dig. Um, what advice would you give to a college student, an art student, on the come up, like me, um, I was having a really difficult time like figuring out if I wanted to stay in school or actually chase this dream. And it's kind of scary sometimes because, you know, money and you don't know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, so. well, I mean, he, you know, was an art student and spent a year in college and, you know, figured it wasn't for him. And then he left. <laughs> and she graduated. Yeah, I went to a four-year school, art school, and, you know, got a cinematography degree. And, you know, thought I wanted to make movies, and then you graduate and you realize that, you know, your life, you know, will take its own turn and you can't really guide the course of your life as an artist. Anyway, you have to keep your options open to all art. And, um, you know, music kind of took over. We both worked regular jobs and hated going to work every day, and then, you know, we we were traveling the world. I mean, I remember having to, like, fake a sickness mm -hmm. for a week. <laughs> um, and we were really in London and overseas doing shows and, mm -hmm. you know having to come back and go to work was a drag and I think it took us some time to really be like okay well if we want to do this we have to do it 100% and we were broke you know and somehow there's always a way something always presents itself so I think the advice that we always give is to just do it by any and every means I just think you guys will listen. like the interview. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta just listen to your, your heart, yeah. whatever it's saying. Like I said, we two like polar opposite experiences. Like you know, I was in school and it's just like, fuck this. I don't want to be here. I want to do music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it, 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 just I don't know. You just have to listen to that to that voice inside of you, whatever it's saying. Just follow it. And I loved music, but then I loved being in school, and I loved reading books and taking random classes, and the experience of, you know, partying and hanging out with my <laughs> friends all day, and, you know, it, yeah, I mean, we took two different paths to end up at the same place. So, as long as you're committed to who you are as an artist, and knowing that it's gonna be different every day that you wake up, you know, you just have to commit to that. Definitely. Na, 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 na. Okay, I have one question. Um, is may come off like I don't know. I just phrase yeah, it go, weird. shoot, go, do it. Okay, being that you guys are very eclectic and forward moving, do you guys take your fans into consideration when you create your art? Because a lot of fans don't want new stuff. They want the thing that made you, yeah. that made them fall in love with you. So, yeah. um, no, I think. I don't know. I don't think we do. Um, I think we just trust our instincts. And, you know, sometimes, you know, it's understandable when, you know, we want to cater and give to our fans, but at the same time, we do have to evolve and grow as artists because, really, at the end of the day, as an artist, over, you know, the span of time in your catalog, we don't want to do the same thing all the time. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it, it has to change. And so for people to, I think people appreciate us more when they see growth and when they see evolution. Now, we don't necessarily veer off and do things that are completely like, well, they did this one day and then it's like the opposite extreme. I think we keep it pretty consistent. It's a common thread from start, from where we started to where we are now. Definitely growth. Growing, yeah. You know, artists, every day that you wake up, you're a different person. That's the best part about art. I mean, anybody who wants the same thing all the time does not understand how to appreciate art. No. They don't. Sorry. I mean, you know, it's just, you just, you just want, like, you want what you want, but that's not, you're, you limit the artist. You limit yeah. the art. And, and once you limit it, it's like, it's not art anymore. 
But the greatest thing about our career and our fan base is that our fans are so true. And like, you know, people come up to us and they're like, I've been rocking with y'all since, you know, 2006. Don't check like, that card. I, I stole your name, like, in high school, and I can't even change my website now. <laughs> so I was like, it? fuck, it's Julian Delu. I used to go by the name in high school, but now I go by my own name. <laughs> I I mean, but I can't change it. It's oh, so embarrassing, but I mean, no, fuck it. No, I, did, I mean, I did the same thing when I was coming up, and I was a, I was a female MC, and I was in love with Mecca from Digable Planet. I just and wanted I to like, sound important. I wanted was my name. You know? My rap name was Mecca. Like people were like, you sound like her. That's your shit. And that's you know, you find a semblance in exactly artists that you love. That's great. You know, people yeah. are so afraid to be inspired, and people nowadays are so afraid to be fans. And it's like we thrive on that, you know. Like I'm a fan of so many people, and I don't have a problem fanning out for shit that I love. That's the, that's what keeps artists doing shit. Yeah. You know?